Before we join in prayer, I want to tell you that a bit of the prayer this morning is from Ted Loder's Gorillas of Grace that has been somewhat adapted. Let us join together as we continue our worship in our prayers. Persistent God, deliver us from assuming your mercy is gentle. Pressure us that we may grow more human, not through the lessening of our struggles, but through an expansion of them that will free us and clarify our gifts and ministry. Deepen our hurt until we learn to share it and ourselves openly and our needs honestly. Sharpen our fears until we name them and release the power they have over us. Accentuate our confusion until we shed those grandiose expectations that divert us from the small, glad gifts of the now and the here and our sisters and brothers. Expose our vulnerability where it shivers crouched behind the curtains of propriety until we can laugh at last through our common frailties and failures, laugh our way toward becoming whole. Deliver us from just going through the motions and wasting everything we have, which is today, a chance, a choice, our creativity, your call. Persistent God, as we look around our world, let the importance of it all pry us off dead center. So if we are moved inside to tears, or sighs, or screams, or smiles, or dreams, they will be real, and we will be in touch with who we are, and who you are, and who our sisters and brothers are. We pray this day for these sisters and brothers facing all kinds of difficult circumstances, those living with illness or injury, recovering from surgery, or awaiting test results and treatment options. We pray for young and old caught in loneliness and despair, those struggling with lack of meaningful work, lack of food, lack of dignity, we pray for those reeling in the aftermath of violence and those living in fear or in resignation in the face of ongoing violence. We pray for those whose lives, families, homes, countries have been devastated by natural disaster or human disaster. Calling and persistent God, as we look around our world, help us to really see and may the realities before us begin to define our mission, our ministry, using all the gifts, creative, using all the gifts, creativity, and love that we have. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us, granting us wisdom, granting us courage to follow the way of the living Christ known to us in Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Holy One who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy reign come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the reign and the glory, the power and the glory forever. Amen.